something deeply unsettling happened on January 12th morning at Sriharikota. For the second time in eight months, India's most dependable rocket, the PSLV, failed mid-flight. And once again, the problem struck exactly at the same spot, the third stage. If you're wondering why this happened so much, imagine your most reliable family car suddenly breaking down twice in the same way within months. That's a kind of concern rippling through India's space community right now. The PSLV has been ISRO's workforce since 1993, successfully launching over 60 missions, including the famous Chandrayaan-1 and the Mars Orbiter. Before 2025, it has failed only twice. Once in 1993 during its very first flight and once in 2017 when a heat shield wouldn't separate. This was supposed to be a rare blip, quietly corrected. On Monday, January 12, 2026, another PSLV mission, the C-62, failed. This time, it was the DL variant with just two strap-on boosters, a lighter configuration for smaller payloads. It carried the EOS N1, a hyperspectral satellite meant to study everything from crop health to water quality, along with 15 smaller satellites from various companies. The launch at 10.18 am started perfectly. First stage, flawless. Second stage, smooth. Then the third stage fired up and for a while, everything looked normal. But near the end of its burn, something went terribly wrong. The rocket started experiencing what engineers called disturbances in roll rates. Essentially, it began tumbling and spinning when it shouldn't have. The flight path deviated, altitude and speed dropped below the required levels. The mission failed. None of the satellites reached orbit. They are likely lost. We are yet to get an official statement from the ISRO. Two failures, eight months apart, both in the third stage. This isn't coincidence anymore. It's a pattern and patterns demand answers. The third stage uses a solid fuel. Once you light it, there is no turning back. No adjusting of the throttle like you can do with liquid engines. So when something goes wrong, it goes wrong fast. The May 2025 failure showed a pressure drop, suggesting incomplete or uneven burning inside the motor. However, the January 2026 failure showed that the rocket losing control and tumbling, which could mean that the nozzle that steers the rocket malfunctioned or that there were structural issues causing uneven thrust. The worrying part is that both rockets likely use third stages from similar production batches, possibly with components from the same suppliers. Could there be a hidden manufacturing defect that the previous investigations missed? Or did the fixes applied after May not address the root problem completely? The ISRO makes these motors in-house at a facility in Tiruvannandapuram, but various suppliers provide raw materials and components. Quality control in rocket manufacturing is brutally unforgiving. Even microscopic cracks in the motor casing or tiny flaws in insulation can cause catastrophic failures. Monday's C-62 mission was handled by the New Space India Limited, ISRO's commercial arm, carrying paying customers, including international satellite. For years, the PSLV has been India's calling card in global launch market, reliable, affordable and trusted by nations worldwide. This double failure doesn't just hurt our strategic defense capabilities, it threatens India's hard-earned reputation as a dependable commercial launch provider, potentially costing multi-million dollar contracts as customers nervously eye other options. But the ISRO has bounced back before and they have done it quickly. One can recall the 2017 failure when the heat shield wouldn't separate. ISRO investigated thoroughly, fixed the explosive separation system, added better testing procedures and the very next launch succeeded beautifully. That led to years of perfect flights. The same DNA of rigorous analysis and relentless problem solving exists today. What needs to happen now? First, absolute transparency. ISRO must share detailed findings with the public, not just technical committees. Second, this is the perfect moment to bring in India's growing private space sector. Companies like Skyroot and Agnicol and industrial giants like HAL and Elanti, who are already building PSLV components. Fresh eyes independent testing, advanced simulations, these can catch problems that internal teams might miss. Third, ISRO needs to slow down and be thorough. The pressure to launch frequently is real, but not at the cost of reliability. Space exploration has always been about learning from failure. Every successful space program 
be it NASA, SpaceX, the European Space Agency has stumbled and risen stronger. ISRO's team includes some of the most talented engineers on the planet. They will dig into every byte of telemetry data, examine every centimeter of similar motors, run exhaustive tests and find the answer. The PSLV isn't finished. It's going through a rough patch, and the kind that makes teams sharper and systems more robust. When it flies again, and it will, it will carry not just satellites, but the lessons learned from these difficult days. India's space journey doesn't pause for setbacks. It learns from them and pushes forward, always forward.